Hey Virgo, how's it going? We are here with the timeless reading. Welcome. Three of Cups wanting to come out. We're starting off with the Empress. Nice. If there's something that you are working on, I'm seeing that you're going to make progress with this very quickly, Virgo. Having the Empress come out, it can be about your... Empress can be about your creativity, it can be about your empowerment, you designing things. Anything that you're involved in that you're sort of putting your special touch on, it can be like a project, you can be making a piece of art, you can be doing a new skill or something like that. Anything again where it's going to be like your energy that you're bringing to something and feeling like there's an abundance of that. Like I'm really giving myself to this thing that I'm involved in and involved in like a co-creation of some sort. Having eight of wands shows that you are going to make progress very, very quickly. So if there's something that you're getting into or getting back into or starting up or just anything that you're involved in that feels sort of like unique or special for you particularly to be involved in, things will progress quickly. I'm seeing you be in a very powerful space, energetically speaking. Empress is a very high power card because of really being in alignment with yourself. Okay, where are you going? I'm looking at justice. Okay. Sending yourself on a mission here feels like this is aligned for me to be doing this, whatever your cause is here. Eight of Wands is showing like nothing is going to get in the way of where you're going. Like I'm, I'm not there yet, but I'm going to get there and you are going to get there quickly. Moving into Justice and Knight of Cups, there can be somebody that you are reaching out to. You can be sending a message to someone, Virgo. If you're not planning on sending a message to someone, someone can be sending a message to you. But having justice and having Knight of Cups is somebody speaking from a place where it's like they may have a truth to speak. It can be about rebalancing the scales, making something right. There can be like a confession of some sort, things along the lines of that. Maybe this is somebody coming towards you. Looks like this has been being thought about for a while. I am seeing your energy come out here. I'm also seeing Libra and I'm seeing Venus. And Aquarius. And the sun. Okay, nice. Yeah, here's that Three of Cups. Justice and Three of Cups can be that you're gonna be making up with someone or extending an olive branch. It can be like that type of thing. But even, even though you can be saying something to another person and there can be potential for you to reconcile with them, this is about you reconciling with yourself. So if, let's say that you're on the end of things where you can look at a situation and be like, I didn't show up in total alignment with my values or I didn't do the empowering thing. This feels very much like you're calling your energy back to yourself. The Empress shows you being in an empowered space where you are very in touch with yourself. That's why it's such a powerful energy because it's like being very, very aligned with your values. And so when you make choices in the way that you're thinking, it's going to be aligned with your authenticity. And that's why it's so powerful. That's why it moves with such a force. Justice can be you looking at something and being like, I got to make this right. Like I got to reach out to them and spending time maybe thinking about a message that you want to send. Also to know that if this is not you, this can be another person that's going to be reaching out to you. 
but let's just say that this is your energy. So you feel like you're very much in alignment with yourself, definitely feeling regulated and in an authentic light. Moving directly into justice can be you connecting with somebody and Justice and Three of Cups can very much be like things weren't okay with someone before. This can be the rewriting of things or to make things right once again. But as I said before, Justice and Three of Cups is like regardless of what happens because if another person is on the line, you can't really control what they're going to do or what they're going to say, whatever, if they're going to want to be involved, if you guys are going to make up or not, that sort of is in the ball is in their court at that point. But this is like, I'm doing things so I can feel right about it with myself. And so the most major reconciliation here is one between you and your values. Because if there had been something that had sort of like split away from that, like you had maybe done something that wasn't fully aligned with your values, this can be the time where you sort of unite back with that. The star is a sign of like healing and hope and like your future. The sun feels like it's about recognizing yourself within this. And three of cups will be like the coming together of that, of like, I know how I wanna show up and what's aligned for me. And I feel like this is the place for me to be. And in a space of being hopeful, it feels very much like there is going to be a connection, a reconnection that's happening. So the star is like, I'm in the right spot, I'm feeling hopeful about things. Eight of Wands is about the direction that you're going in and moving quickly at that. Three of Cups is going to be the coming together, the coming back together. Knight of Cups can be, well, now that we're talking to each other again or connecting with one another, I wanna really share my feelings here. So it looks like there's going to be communication. For some of you too, I'm wondering if this is somebody that you have not been in contact with, with Hermit and Eight of Cups. I get the feeling that you can, you can do what you feel like is right on your side and feeling like, wow, I did that for myself, even if it does involve another person. And again, like the ball being in the other person's court with what they wanna do if this is reflective of a relationship that you have with another person. Justice and Three of Cups is like, I'm doing my part to make sure that things are right. And then being able to rest within that and feel good about that because you know that you did the right thing here, did what you needed to do. And so that will be an empowering move that you make on your end. I feel like there's an illumination of your values. I don't know if you've been like living differently lately or you've been creating more lately. It just feels like you've sort of come back to yourself. And I feel almost like an accepting of, it looks like an interpersonal mission that you're sort of setting out to do. And having Ace of Cups can be like, I want to make this right and I want to have a new chapter. I'm seeing that be what the message is about. Having Knight of Cups and having Ace of Cups is like, I'm extending this opportunity for us to have a new chapter with one another. But having Hermit and having Eight of Cups can be um, somebody that you haven't been talking to or you've been like out of frame. And... Eight of Cups can potentially be about somebody looking at something and being like, I don't know if that's going to work for me. Or it can be somebody that like already sort of left this space and didn't think that this was going to happen. So they kind of could have already, I don't know if like given up on it is the right word, but it can be somebody that hasn't really like entertained that space anymore. But yeah. Virgo definitely looks like there's going to be somebody that there will at least be an attempt to reconnect with them and know that if you're not doing this, somebody is going to be reaching out to you and saying, hey, do you want to start this new chapter together? Having Hermit and having Eight of Cups, the person that's on the receiving end of this is being encouraged to think this over and figure out whether or not this is something that resonates with them or not and then 
make choices accordingly. And just know too that if you end up, at the end of the day, if you do fall out with this person, it can be that you guys aren't resonating with one another anymore. So even though you can be coming through and making something right, like balancing things between you and another person, if they are not open to that or not receptive to that, just know that this was still supposed to happen because the reconciliation between you and yourself needed to happen and this was the way to make that happen. And just know that if the other person, and I'm not saying that they will, but if they end up like not wanting to be part of this or like not wanting to take this offer from you, just know that it's because you guys are no longer in resonance with one another anymore. And so it wouldn't be... If they were to ignore their feelings and be like, I'm going to connect with you if it's the case that they don't feel connected, you'll enter into that situation with them and then be like, oh, like we shouldn't have reconnected. I should have just said sorry and like left it at that. It can be like that type of thing. So yeah. I, again, I'm not saying that that's going to be the case. Like Eight of Cups can sort of be a question of do I want to go back into this or do I not feel like this connection is going to have what I need? It'd be like that type of thing. And someone also may need some time to think about it as well, depending on what end of this you're on. But you can only do what you can do. I feel like reading between the lines, this is very much about encouraging you to do your thing regardless of what the end result is going to be because you need to do this for yourself to feel right with yourself. And to be like, I did what I needed to do here. So regardless of what happens on the other end of things, you can feel good about this. And like things have been made right. Which is really feels like the whole point of this. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I'm sending everybody love, and I hope to catch you guys next time.